Assalamu alaikum. Today we're solving questions from chapter 3, Vectors. The question reads, two vectors, A equal 2i hat plus 2j hat, and B minus 2i hat plus 4j hat, find the angle between A and B. In most of the cases involving an angle between two vectors, we should think first of the dot product, or the scalar product. But first, before I start with the question, it's better to visualize those two vectors so we can make sense of the answer. So if I had to produce a rough sketch of the two vectors, 2i hat plus 2j hat, so this is the x, this is the y plane, and 2i hat means two units here, two units here, so this is the vector 2i hat, so this is vector a, and then I can also visualize vector B, which is minus 2i hat and 4j hat. So this is a rough sketch. So this is now vector B. So the question asks for the angle between A and B. So my answer should be logically this angle. So now we go back to the question. And as I said, Whenever you're asked about the angle between two vectors, we start with the dot or the scalar product. So A dot B should produce a scalar quantity, a number, which means magnitude of A, magnitude of A, magnitude of B, cosine theta, where theta is the angle that we're targeting between A and B. So, A dot B, I will use my vector notation, 2 I hat plus 2 J hat, dot product with B, which is minus 2 I hat plus 4 J hat. And for this side, I need the magnitude of each vector, and we know how to find the magnitude of any vector. It is the square root of the first component squared, plus the second component squared. Also, I need the magnitude of vector B, which is the first component squared, plus the second component of vector B squared. And this all multiplied by cosine theta. So now, I can solve this, the i hat by the i hat, which means 2, by minus 2 plus the j hat by the j hat, which means 2 by 4. Should equal the square root of 4. 4 plus 4 is the square root of 8. And minus 2 squared is 4. 4 squared 16, so it is square root of 4 plus 16, which is 20 cosine theta. So now this is minus 4 plus 8 should equal square root of 8, square root of 20, cosine theta. So 8 minus 4 is 4, divided by the square root of 8. I divide this here to leave cosine theta in one side, everything else on the other side. Square root of 20. This should equal cosine theta. Which means, to find theta, Theta should be the cosine inverse of this. 4 divided by the square root of 8, square root of 20. And if you use your calculator, it will be 71.6 degrees, approximately 72 degrees. And this concludes the answer. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Today we're solving questions from chapter 3. The question reads, for the following three vectors, A equal 2i hat plus 3j hat, B minus 3i hat plus 4j hat, and C 7i hat plus 3k hat, find C dot twin brackets 2a cross B. So our target, final target, is to find C dot 2a cross B. First, we have to think on the priority of multiplication. What's coming between the brackets has the priority for multiplication before what's outside the brackets. So, first
first, I need to simplify this by multiplying this constant by the vector a. So 2 by a will be 2 by 2 i hat plus 3 j hat, which is the vector a. This is the vector a. So this will give me this will give me 4 i hat plus 6 j hat. Then, as I said, I will give priority to multiplying what's inside the bracket first. So, 2a cross b should equal i hat, j hat, k hat. Again, we do the determinant method. So, the first row will be reserved for the first vector, which is two, all this. And the second row will be reserved for the second vector in order, which is b. So 2a is basically 4 i hat. Sorry, I have to <laughs> remove this i hat because I just deal with the components here in the determinant. And 6 and 0. And for vector b, which is minus 3, 4, and 0. So now, if I do the cross product between these two vectors, 2a cross b, then I will do the dot product with c. So the determinant method, I cross this point of intersection between the first row and the first column, and I substitute for i hat, point of intersection. Then this term by this term is 0, 6 by 0, minus this term by this term is also 0, so 0 by 4. Then I use the second point of intersection with a negative sign because of the determinant sign. So it is minus j hat and then this term by this term 4 by 0 minus 0 by minus 3. Plus k hat and now the k hat is this point of intersection. So this term by this term, 4 by 4, minus this term by this term, which is 6 by minus 3. Then we close the bracket. So the i hat, this is 0 plus 0, so the i hat is totally missing from the answer. The j hat is also, this is 0, and this is 0, also means j hat term will also be 0. So this is k hat of 16 minus minus 18, which will become plus. So 16 plus 18 will equal 34 k hat. Now I do the last step in the question. So c dot t a dot cross b will be the vector c is 7 i hat plus 3 k hat then dot product with this vector 34 k hat so the i hat here does not have an equivalent i hat component but the k hat there is so this means i only multiply 3 by 34 which is 102 unit or. So this basically is the, uh, the final answer of this question. Notice that I obtained as a result of the dot product between C and this vector, 2A cross B, I produced a scalar quantity, a number. Before we finish this question, I need to emphasize that, as we said earlier, that when you cross product two vectors, you're producing a third vector perpendicular to both. So this, as a result of 2a cross b, we produced this vector, 34 k hat. Notice that this k hat is perpendicular to a and b. And this concludes the answer. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Today we're solving questions from chapter 3. The question reads, vector a equals 1.5 i hat plus 1.5 j hat. Find vector b 
that makes 60 degrees with A in the counterclockwise direction and has a magnitude of four units. So to answer the question, we need first to visualize vectors both A and B. So this is the X, Y coordinate. And vector A is one unit and then one and a half. This is two. So this is one, two. So this is one and two. So this is the half. So one, one and a half unit I hat and one and a half unit J hat, which means this is vector A. Now the question reads, find vector B that makes 60 degrees with A in the counterclockwise direction. This is the counterclockwise direction. And because this is exactly this component is equivalent to this component, so this angle I can conclude it's actually 45 degrees. So 60 degrees means if this is 45, then has to, this has to be 45. And if I want to produce 60 degrees with vector B of magnitude 4, so I can approximately say that this is a 4 magnitude of this, approximately. We need to find it exactly. And this is 45. So if I want to produce a hole as 60, So this small angle has to be 15 degrees. So now I want to find the vector B, its components. So I know that its length is 4 or its magnitude is 4. So if I to complete this triangle, then basically I can find its components by finding this component and this component. Now this component will be the BY component. So the BY component will be 4 cosine or will be the magnitude of B. Magnitude of B cosine 15 degrees. And the BX component will be this component. So this component will be the B sine, this is the corresponding. So B is 4, or B, the magnitude of B, sine 15 degrees. So now we can substitute. Magnitude of 4 is given in the question. Magnitude of B is 4, cosine 15. And this is magnitude of B is 4, sine 15. And if you use your calculator, this will be 3.86. This is the y component of the vector. And this will be 1.04 or the x component of the vector. So this is 1.04. And this will be 3.86. But we did not finish yet. Because if this is the direction of the vector, so means this component will be pointing here. And this component will be pointing here. So this 1.04, the actual component, has to be with a negative sign. So, and this one is all along the positive y, so it is positive. Now, I can write my vector b as the x component first, 1 minus 0.04 i hat, plus the j component or the y component, 3.86 j hat. And if I want to confirm, I can find the magnitude of B again using my calculator, which should be BX squared plus BY squared, which means the square root of minus 1.04 squared plus 3.86 squared. And this should equal, if you use your calculator, you will find it 4. And also, I can even find the angle 15 to confirm. So if I don't know the angle 15, I assume I don't know, and I want to find it from my results, I can find that tan theta should equal the y component, which is a 3.86 divided by, and this will give me that theta should equal 15 degrees. And this uh, concludes the answer. Thank you. There is a
Assalamu alaikum. Today we're solving questions from chapter 3. The question reads, you are given two vectors A and B if A dot B equals 4 and the magnitude of A cross B is 3, find the angle between A and B. Notice here that in the question, the magnitude is taken for A cross B as 3 because we know that the cross product will yield a vector quantity. So the question to solve this ambiguity has to give you that, find that the magnitude is a 3, not the actual vector. So, so we can put the information given in the question, A dot B should equal 4 units, and the magnitude of A cross B is 3 units. Now, the question is asking for the angle between A and B. I don't know the magnitude of A, and I don't know the magnitude of B, so I cannot apply the dot product rule, but I can utilize the information given. So if A dot B equals 4, then the magnitude of A by the magnitude of B cosine angle between them, this equals, and this one also is the magnitude equals 3, which means the magnitude of A, magnitude of B, sine angle between them, this side equals 4, this side equal 3. Now, if I call this equation 1, and I call this equation 2, then I notice if I divide this equation by this equation, or this equation by this equation, I can cancel out the magnitudes of A and B, which I don't know. So, then 2 divided by 1 yields, so 2 on 1 will give me 3, this side, 3 divided by 4 should equal A, B, sine theta divided by A, B, cosine theta, so this will cancel with this, and sine theta divided by cosine theta is actually tan theta, so now I can solve the angle, tan theta equals 3 over 4, which means that theta is the tan inverse of a 3 divided by 4, and if you use your calculator, you'll find it 36.9 degrees. This concludes the answer. Thank you.